Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and it is time to see if I am going to be able to win the legendary prize car. So, yesterday I opened a unrecorded carbon fiber, and I ended up pulling the Porsche Cayman GTS, so now I think I might actually have a very strong chance at being able to win this prize car, so let's see. Let's just get into it right now. Okay, so here we go, let's just run with this for now. Yeah, we could probably just run this for now. See how we can do so also upgraded a ton of my cars which i'll show in a sec after this round actually i'll show them when i get to round 22 because that is the round where i actually need to like move all my stuff around because 22 and 26 are the two tricky rounds so that's where we'll see what like i'll be able to do with my deck and stuff so probably i want to go with that and then something like that put you on like the drag you can go on hmm there probably you can probably win hairpin that and that okay so let's see about this i can also always just go lower our queue which will work too but let's see now that one's there ttrs should win here yep nice okay now let's just see if the opal opc extreme can win on the hairpin i have a feeling it should because we're just much faster yep we are okay good so now we can skip that match there we go three thousand more and then that's a win on hairpin this round is another one of the trickier rounds but that's a win that's a win mountain tour i bet we can actually probably win that mountain tour with that because if we see m6 grand coupe mra should take it away or no oh nope they passed me okay so actually we'll probably have to switch that yep we'll have to switch that around so let's do M6 Grand Coupe doesn't work. So what, can I go lower somewhere else? Oh, I can't even run the Audi with that. Okay, that's a bit of an issue then. Okay, but that'll win there. But then I need something to beat the Merc. Hmm. 4289, run that then what i can run you so what then we use you then i just need the beamer to win somewhere though 3888 um I mean, I could max the Phaeton if I want to, but I want to see if I can maybe do it with just what I have right now. Mm, I just don't really have a spot for him. I mean, could try the twisty circuit, then put that like that, that like that, and that like that. So let's see if maybe we're able to win on twisty circuit. I doubt it though, because Opal OPC Extreme has no MRA. So we'll probably get flattened by that Mercedes. But maybe we will. We also have traction boost too. But yeah, no, we have no MRA. Okay, so I'll probably have to max the fate and then, which is stupid, because I don't want to wait. Unless I can just run something lower. But I don't think I can. Mm. What was the other way I had it set up? Like if I use what that for that. Except I doubt that'll work because Opal OPC Extreme except Opal OPC Extreme did win that, so maybe. Maybe possibly. And then what then we run you, 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 and you. If you can win there. Cause then I can win everything else. So then we'll just have to see if the Beamer can win on the Hairpin Road, which I highly doubt. But let's see, cause Audi TT wins there. And then the 520D does not, does not win, great. So thought I had it, now I actually got a max of Phaeton. So yeah, I'll probably be back with that, unless 
I could... Yeah, because that fits perfectly. Wonder if the Phaeton just would win there or there. Probably not though. So, yeah, I'll be back then with an upgraded Phaeton. So, good thing I pulled this from the Volkswagen Premium. Because otherwise, I doubt I'd be able to get through this round. But then we'll be done with that, and then I'm pretty sure I could beat all the other rounds. So, and we're back. Here we go. Round 21 now. I just gotta wait then for my Porsche to finish fusing, and I'll be done with the challenge. I'll be able to finish it right once the Porsche finishes fusing, most likely, because I've checked all the track sets. So, let's first beat this round right here. And let's do that. That, that, and that. Might as well just run this. And this should work, because the Phaeton should win. Then I just gotta see round 22, and if I can beat round 22, then I am home free. I am able to then win the prize car. So this will be very nice. I'll actually be winning my first legendary prize car. Yeah, this should definitely be a win. And also I'll show off all my upgrades too that I had to do with the Phaeton right here. Getting two star, two starred it right now. It's at 213, but I doubt I'll need it in the future. But uh, if I do, I'll just upgrade it. But because I, I only got two fuses left I need to do. But there we go, round 21 complete. Now it all comes down to this, round 22. I gotta remember what hand I was using. It was this, that, Audi, that, and I'm pretty sure it's that. Yeah, this is what I was using. I was using that, that one's there, that hopefully one's there, that hopefully, and that. So, let's see if it works. Audi TT, I already know wins there, yep. Now this, I'm pretty sure the BMW wins by 0.5. 06 is what it is. It's very close. Yep, yeah, 0.05. So it's literally insanely close, and the Phaeton does pass us a tiny bit, but we did end up winning in the end. So Hairpin Road, this is a win, which it is. Nice. That was also extremely close. This is the round that's been tripping everybody up, but come on, Audi R8, pull it through. Audi R8 pulls through. Now it all comes down to this, my M6 Grand Coupe. They both have similar MRA. We're faster to 60. It's all just if we stop faster, which we do. We get past the impossible round of round 22. I had to do tons of upgrades into my cars, but we did it. Round 22 has been completed. I have this right here, a 222 BMW 750D X-Drive. I have a 131 Audi TT RS. I have a 121 M6 Grand Coupe. And then for my other upgraded thing, which is right here, the Porsche Epic that I pulled, I have it at 112, so when that finishes, then I'll be able to beat the final round. So, let's see what's coming up next. This looks simple. Now, this is literally free compared to what was before. That can, actually, let's just put you there. There. Now, this is, like, refreshing compared to the other round we just beat. Because I didn't have any recording from that round, and I just beat it, like, right now. But that's because I'd been studying the track sets like crazy. Like, I've been measuring time, studying every possible time, studying every possible option, figuring out what could possibly work and win. And when I figured out the solution, when one of my friends sent me a picture of the 750D X-Drive actually winning a slalom test at 222, and I knew I could 222 my car, it's when I knew I could beat this challenge. So, I've been putting in all these fuses into all my cars for round 22 and round 26, because those are like the two determine you win the prize car rounds. And right after doing all the calculations, I realized I can win this car. So, those two carbon fibers I opened, the one with the 750D and the one with the Porsche Cayman, both helped me in figuring out me winning, being able to win my prize car. So, this looks a bit trickier, but we can probably just win with it, actually. I'll probably replace something for that. So, let's grab you, and can I grab you? Oh, I can, okay. And then you... And then you, and you. Might as well just do this. 4295 on the slalom test. We'll put you there. You on the one mile, and you on the quarter mile. Yeah, quarter, no, half mile. Yeah, that's a half. Okay, so, quarter mile drag, we get the dub. Right here, M6 Grand Coupe wins as well, because it has great MRA. There we go. And that M6 Grand Coupe as well, that I pulled um, from a... BMW premium like I've gotten so lucky with this like I'll also after this round I'll tell you guys how lucky I just gotten with all having all these cars 
Like, I pulled the perfect stuff to win at all this. So, there we go, 911 GT2 RS. Like, I'll just tell you how lucky I was with these track sets and with my pack pulls. So, Comfort Apollo S was a funny pack that I pulled with my dog, where I used my dog's paw to press the screen, and the dog pulled the Comfort Apollo S, so that was pretty crazy. 911 GT2 RS, my first max legendary. 750D X Drive, I pulled from that carbon fiber, the first one I showed you guys. Porsche Cayman GTS basically saved the day and guaranteed me the win from another unrecorded carbon fiber, which was only my second one, which is why I still have so much gold. Audi TT RS Plus Coupe, I'm glad I saved it and didn't fuse it away, even though it went low, because I like the car. It's still a great high RQ car. It has strong MRA, so really happy I kept that still. Porsche Cayman wasn't actually that useful, but the BMW 640i X-Drive was great. It was really useful. One of my friends actually pulled it at school for me like a few, few I think a week ago, or it might've been two weeks ago, but that definitely sealed the victory as well. And then pulling this Phaeton. I didn't actually think I would need it after pulling the 750D X-Drive, but for round 21, I needed it and I pulled it from a Volkswagen Premium Pack. So I got really lucky with that as well. And those are the cars basically that helped me secure this victory. So looking at this now, oh yeah, I know I can beat this round because we can do that, that, that. Now you just need 4, 4, and 3, 4, 93. So actually I should probably go with um, something to win the waterfront instead. Like I can take you. Yeah, Monaco City Street's there. Then we'll take you for the waterfront. You there, you on the one mile, and you on the narrow. There we go, so this should be a win. Got a little little scared for a second, but all of this should be fine. As long as the Opal OPC Extreme pulls through, which it should, we do have great handling, even though we have non-existent MRA. But yeah, there's just nothing the Audi S4 can do. It can't catch up in time. So this should be good now. I did get a little worried by the roof, 3800S, but I was able to switch stuff around. So it all works well in the end, because then this is a win right T. Oh, crap. Okay, spoke a bit too soon, but we can switch it. We can switch the Gumper, unless the Gumper just gets enough points right here. 109, okay. So, I'm pretty sure my Beamer actually should win right there on the one mile. Gumper wins there, that, that, and that. So let's actually check this now. I spoke a bit too soon. Hopefully that doesn't come and bite me in the end. But... There we go, Porsche, okay. Little bit sketchy now. Gumpert Apollo S beats the RS6 Avant. Nice, 92 points. Then the Audi R8 Spider wins here. I can also always switch the Audi onto the one mile drag, but I think my Beamer should be good enough. Nope, the Merc is passing me. Okay, but my Audi, my Audi definitely can do it, I bet. Even though my Audi has missing MRA, but my Audi should be able to do it because of that top speed and we're also faster to 60. So, Audi R8, please don't let me down. You are, actually I won't say you are a letdown of a car, you're actually a rather good car. For lots of people saying, oh I got the Audi R8 Spider, it's not that great of a car, I've actually found a lot of use out of it. It's not a top tier legendary like the Gumpert Apollo S. But it is one that actually does have its use. It's not a useless legendary. It's more of like a decent legendary that does have its good areas. Which is, it's just a solid all-arounder. It's not going to win anything really, but it's also not going to lose anything by too much. It's just an overall decent car. So hopefully, the Audi R8 Spider can pull through. It will be passed, but now that top speed. Come on, kick in top speed, kick in. Yep, there we go. Okay, the Audi R8 Spider saves the day. Great car, and there we go. It all comes down now to round 26, which I just gotta wait for my Porsche to finish fusing. And then I run this hand, so I might as well set up my hand. Can't use the Audi because it's too high of RQ. I use the TT, and I use the Cayman, but I'll just drop the Cayman for now to show what I am doing. So I run the Gumpert Apollo S there, and it gets enough bonus points. I am most likely sure. I'm actually gonna check. I run the Porsche there on Monaco Narrow Streets, BMW M6 Grand Coupe wins there, my Audi TT ties, and a Monaco hairpin, then I put my Porsche down. So, yep, because we do lose there with the 640i X-Drive, the Porsche also loses too, but that's why I'm putting the Fuse into it. This is a very close race, but the M6 Grand Coupe does win by 0.06, so 
than this one. We just got to see 100 bonus points, but it should be 100 bonus points. Because I know the M6 Grand Coupe also wins by a lot, too. 96. That might be an issue. Yeah, because the Porsche didn't get any here. And I need to get 250. Because that's a tie. Oh, that was so close. Yet, so far. I mean, I could do a Legendary Fuse. I have the stuff to fuse it away if I want to. I could fuse away the Caterham, the ZL1 Convertible, and the 907. So I can win this car, but... Mmm, that hurts a bit. See, I doubt the Audi wins on that. 3688. Mm, how do you not get enough points there? Well, that sucks. Guess I either pull three ultra rares and upgrade my Audi once more, or I put a legendary fuse into my Gumpert Apollo S. Which I wouldn't mind. I mean, I wouldn't mind it. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do the Legendary Fuse. Let's get it done. Peugeot 907, not that great of a car. Same for the ZL1 Convertible. I have other American Ultra Epics I want to max. And the 7420, it's only really good when it's maxed out. And I don't really think I want to max it out. I've only actually used it once in an event. So, here we go. Let's do live Legendary Fuse into the Gumpert Apollo S. There we go. So that is going to be eight hours, so I'll be back in eight hours. Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and I don't know why I'm doing the intro again, but the fuse finished. So now, just gotta put the final upgrade in. I don't have enough money. So I'll just sell a super rare quickly because I have no ultra rares to upgrade anyway, and I have a ton of super rares. So let's just sell one, because it doesn't hurt to sell one. I'm gonna be opening a ton of ceramics soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But let's see. If 3891, I also 121 my Gumpert Apollo S, so it hits 2696 now, so hopefully that gets enough points as well. And hopefully the Porsche wins here on the Monaco Hairpin. I'm pretty sure it should because it has six more handling and a similar 0 to 60. So hopefully we can pass them on the corners. The BMW is getting away a bit, but come on, please take the lead, Porsche. Please take the lead. Well, it wouldn't be a Yellowfin video if I wasn't losing the challenge by a tiny, tiny amount. So, here we are. It is time to win the Legendary Prize car. I put my final fuse into the Porsche that I need, so now it has a max chassis at 133. I have the 121 BMW M6 Grand Coupe, the 121 Gumpert Apollo S, the 233 Porsche 911 GT2 RS, and the 131 Audi TT RS Plus Coupe. So, here we go. Let's most likely win the prize card now because I only lost by 0.01 and I put a chassis fuse into the Porsche so the Porsche should win now the M6 is still ahead by a bit but when we get to these final corners we should pass it yep we're already in the lead and there's now a corner right here and right there yep so this is the legendary prize car my first legendary prize car that I've won had to put a lot of resources into it also had to be very lucky which I was, I got insanely lucky with all my car pulls. Cause there we go, 103 bonus points from there with the Gumpert. Then right here with my Porsche, doesn't actually get any bonus points, but that's okay. Because the final race we tie on with the TT against the S63. There it is, there's the tie. And that is the legendary prize car. Citroen GT, I actually got it. My first legendary prize car has been acquired. That's just incredible. Okay, I'm definitely adding that to my garage quickly and locking it. So, wow. My first legendary prize car and only at 8,000 trophies. How many days in is this? 520 days into the game. So, about 
midway for like other people where they're at like day a thousand if they've been playing since the very beginning. I've had to switch on and off from different accounts though. So probably if I was on one of my older, if I had contained the same account, I'd probably be on day a thousand as well. But day 520 with my German 2010 to 2014 garage looking like this right here. There we go. This is what I had to win it with. A lot of upgraded stuff. Only high tier car I didn't have to upgrade was the Audi R8 Spider because it was able to hold its ends where it needed to. But every other car I had to upgrade, including the Gumpert Apollo S, I actually had to put a fuse into it, fusing three epics, which you probably saw earlier in the video. And then the rest of my squad, besides all that, those four are fuse. And I did sell a few of the other stuff to get a times five to be able to get me to put the final fuse into the Porsche. But it was all useless stuff anyway that I didn't really need. So it was fine to sell it because I wouldn't be using them really very much in the future anyway. And which I did then end up pulling the Chevy Murray also from the Times 5 Ceramic. But I'll have a garage update on that with all that that happens. That'll probably be out tomorrow. But let's upgrade this beast. It has 108 MRA or around 108. Goes down to like 3.3 I think. Yep, 3.393. There it is. It has 108 MRA, concept tag, and style icon tag, also a French car, and a prize car. So now if we go to my French collection, not looking too bad, I did have to fuse the Peugeot 906, but now I replaced it basically with the Citroen GT, which is a great car. Both the Oxia and the GT are both MRA beasts, so that'll be really useful. I want to like, I want to put upgrades into it, so I may put upgrades into it in the far future because I it is my first legendary prize car but probably won't be doing that anytime soon because I have other stuff I might want to work on and I also want to work on rebuilding my garage and fuse pile too but there we go now if we look at prize cars the rather weak collection with the only good stuff really being the Citroen G I mean the Pontiac G8 GXP and I guess the Firebird we now have a legendary added to that collection so that's pretty insane also my 10th legendary now so I have 10 legendaries that's pretty cool also my 10th one being a pri legendary prize car. But that's incredible. And it's also a good one too. So I still haven't actually unpacked like a bad legendary yet. But hopefully that streak will continue going with my next legendaries I pull where I don't pull another bad one. Where I, not another, but I don't pull a bad one. Because all these ones I have right now are pretty solid legendaries. None of them are really weak and they all are, all, all are pretty good in their own areas. And so yeah. That basically, actually, let's throw it on the Monaco 10 drag. I know it loses, but let's just see, like, how it does. Because I know it is a pretty close race. So, on the one mile drag, let's see how close it actually is. Because we do have a big 0 to 60 difference. But, look at the Citroen go then. It starts picking up and catching up. Wait, oh, it actually passes it. Oh, okay. So, wow, the MRA beast of the Citroen GT with a 3.30 to 60 actually beats the McLaren 12C, which is also an MRA beast of a car. And the Citroen GT wins. So, that is crazy. Also, very nice. And there is a Citroen event coming up, too. So, I might just make a video on that, even though my hand won't be very good. But then I can, like, use the Citroen GT, which will be pretty nice. So, that's basically... Wait, is it a 2000s car? It is. Oh, I can use it in this too. That's pretty nice as well. So that basically concludes it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this long video. It was a pretty big journey. Had to get rid of a lot of resources, had to fuse a lot of stuff. And we actually made it and won my first prize car in the end. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these type of videos, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that cool stuff. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.